Okay, to start off with, coming out of the uh, verse riff, you're going to hit three harmonics. You're going to hit the uh, harmonic on the fifth fret of the B, fifth fret of the G, up to the seventh fret of the B. You got to hit them quite quick. Uh, I recommend strumming down, up, down. Okay, so the chords. Uh, the chords you're going to want to know are the first one, which is uh, C with two major sevens on top of it. So you're going to put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the low E, ring finger on the ninth fret of the D, first finger on the seventh fret of the high E, and you're not going to let any other strings ring out. Hit that twice. For the slides, you're going to put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the low E, uh, ring finger on the fifth fret of the D, little finger on the uh, fifth fret of the G. Slide that shape up a tone, back to the uh, first chord shape. This is where the pattern gets a bit difficult. Uh, counting it, I'm not sure what you would count. The way I the way I play it is I break it into two sections. I just kind of play that, da -da -da -da, that kind of rhythm. Play the slides again, then to finish it off, you're going to play the same as the f same chord as the first slide, except the little finger is going to come off, and the first finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the G. Okay, for the second half, similar to the first half, except the first finger's um, going to be moved around a little bit. So it's the same chord shape as before, except the first finger comes down from the high E to the seventh fret of the G. The slides, uh, it's uh, fifth fret on the low E, fifth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, up to the seventh fret on the low E, seventh fret on the D, and then fifth fret on the G. Finishing off with a B minor, uh, B minor seven. So you're just gonna play every note on the seventh fret, except for the A string and the high E. And then the little high octave slide. Uh, you're going to hold the 9th uh, fret on the G, 12th fret on the high E, down to the 7th fret on the G, 10th fret on the high E. Okay, so the second half. You're going to play it the same up to that point. And then you're going to play that. So the strumming pattern is... You're going to hit down, down on the original chord, and then you're going to add your little finger to the 10th fret of the B. You're going to strum up, and then you're going to take it off, and then strum up, down on the original chord. It's going to feel very unnatural because the timing is a bit strange. But once you get it down, going to fit a lot nicer. Uh, the second time around, you're just going to finish on that B minor 7 sliding down and out, back into back into your main hook. Alright guys, I wanted to do this part as a section on its own because the chords are quite hard to explain. Uh, part four will probably be another delay because I'm still learning that part myself. It's the crazy tapping part at the end. Um, I've kind of got the notes down, but I haven't. I can't play it up to speed yet, so I can't play the example at the start of the video. Um, so as soon as I can play that, I'll be posting it. Cheers for watching.